Joe in real life, squat every day, day six, I believe. Once again, I am in beautiful Bonaventure Cemetery. This is my backyard. Can you believe this shit? It's fucking amazing. I'm feeling good today. Gonna hop back on my linear progression program. Gonna sidebar conjugate for a while. I don't have the gear or the patience to learn it, so I'm just not gonna do it. Figuring out how to do squat every day while working a linear program is going to be a little bit tricky, but I have confidence I can do it. I'm going to keep my squats unambitious today. Yesterday's single leg squats have me feeling kind of unimaginably sore. My, uh, my butt, my glutes feel like there's crushed glass in them, <laughs> and my quads don't feel much better which is a good indication that I need single leg squats. So they are in the rotation now. That's something I'm just gonna have to work, uh, which is a little bit of a bummer because I really hated doing them. <laughs> it was incredibly awful and I have no aptitude for it. Like if you watched yesterday, you saw I had the bar on my back and that was it. Um, and it was arguably too much. <laughs> Like, for real, you know? Five sets of five, I should not feel this sore, but I am. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do today. I might do some one-arm overhead squats and to kind of prime the shoulder a little bit for the overhead presses I'm gonna do in my linear. And that's it, but I reserve the right to change my mind. I'm gonna finish my constitutional and get to work. So stay tuned. So as I said prior, my legs are just absolutely destroyed today. Um, crushed glass in the glutes, in the quads. I decided to keep it, I don't know, a little fun and a little simple and just did some ass to grass squats with one arm overhead, doing it with 15 pounds here. Pretty easy more almost even getting a stretch you know like i'm hesitant to call this squat every day even because it's well not really a squat exercise i mean it is a squat exercise but i'm not squatting with any sort of verb um i jump up to 25 i think i top out at 35. same idea you know getting into a low position opening that flank I don't know, I, w I would highly recommend this move if you've got the squat depth and mobility to get into it. Um, there are a lot of treats here. You can take your gaze up to the kettlebell to help you with stability, help your shoulder stay in that position, or you can lower gaze to the floor and challenge the position a little bit more through the neck. It's a really cool movement. And overall, I'm just feeling a lot better, you know? I mean, I guess that's what today, that's the, that's the benchmark of today's work more than anything else. Like, I finally feel like a functional human being again. I was able to get a full workout in. Um, I'm just really grateful at that. Like, it feels good to be in my skin, in my body again. Here's the 35. So, this was meaningfully challenging. I mean, Perhaps not meaningfully challenging as a squat, although I found that even pretty strenuous with my doms. I'm taking my gaze to the floor, I'm working that stretch, I'm spending a little time here. It's good. And yeah, man, it's nice to have rejoined the land of the living. You know, I got a really good overhead press workout in today and my blues my blues have subsided. I mean, I don't want to get too arrogant. I don't want to ride this pink cloud too hard, but I really feel genuinely good and almost a little guilty because I kind of don't feel like I deserve to. Anyway, this is Joe in real life. I love you guys. Be good to each other, okay?